Greetings to you all. Welcome to class 7, term 3rd, Geography, Unit 1. Exploring Continents, North America and South America. Part 1. Dear children, today we are going to do the book back exercise. So let us start with wrap up, summary. North America is the third largest continent next to Asia and Africa. It is divided into four physical divisions. The vast latitudinal extent from the tropics to the polar regions makes the climate of North America as varied as that of Asia. North America is endowed with a diverse and extensive forest cover. Approximately 30% of the total land area is under forest cover. Wheat, corn, maize, oats, soya beans, barley and many other food crops are grown throughout the vast interior plains of North America. North America is the leading producer of iron ore, petroleum, natural gas, copper, silver, sulfur, zinc, bauxite and manganese. United States of America is known as melting pot where hundreds of different cultures meet, blend and creating a new culture. Next to Asia, Africa and North America, South America is the fourth largest country in the world. It is divided into three physical divisions. The climate of the continent of South America has been closely influenced by the latitudes and the proximity of the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. There are four main natural vegetation areas of South America and the Amazon Basin, the Silvas and the Eastern Highlands, the Gran Chaco and the slopes of the Andes. Wheat, sugarcane, maize, coffee, cocoa, sugarcane, banana, cotton, etc. are grown in South America continent. South America has many valuable deposits of minerals, particularly of iron ore, manganese, petroleum, copper and bauxite. Portuguese and Spanish are the primary languages of South America. Fine children, this is already in class. Now let us see the glossary part. Isthmus, it means a narrow stretch of land joining two large land masses. Rind land mass join. Second one, straight, a narrow stretch of water joining two large water bodies. So, rind water bodies join under the straight. Cellulose, obtained from wood pulp. Prairies, a temperate grassland of North America. Igloos, the specially designed a house by ice. Ice ali kattina vidda igloo. The Pacific Ring of Fire. The places are subject to great volcanic eruption and earthquake activities. Silvas, a tract of land covered by dense equatorial forest in the Amazon basin. Pampas, a temperature grassland of South America. 4 o'clock rain. In equatorial regions, conventional rain occurs at 4 o'clock. Estancias, the breeds raised on large pasture lands. Fine children, now we will go to the evaluation part. First one is, choose the correct answer. The dash separates North America from Asia. So, this is the North America and Asia separate. Pannadhu. Your options are Bering Strait, Park Strait, Malacca Strait, Gibraltar Strait. So, the answer is Bering Strait. This is the Asia and North America vayun separate. Pannadhu. Second one, dash is known as the sugar bowl of the world. Sugar bowl. Options are Mexico, USA, Canada, Cuba. 
and the answer is cuba cuba is known as the sugar bowl of the world third one dash are the longest rivers in north america your options are the mississippi and missouri rivers the bacchini river the saint lawrence river the colorado river so the answer is the mississippi and missouri rivers fourth question dash is the longest mountain chain in the world options are the andes the rockies the himalayas the alps and the answer is the andes fifth one dash basin gets rainfall every day because of its equatorial location the answers are the mackenzie the oronoco the amazon the parana so the answer is the amazon at the equator le irukranaala by 4 o'clock they get rain so moving on to fill in the blanks dash 86 meter below the sea level is the lowest part of the continent of north america so the answer is death valley death valley 86 meter below sea level sea level kum keela irukirathu adanal death valley nu solrom second one dash is one of the world's best fishing grounds so fishing grounds edunaka grand bank grand bank is one of the world's best fishing grounds third one the highest peak in the andes is dash on the chile argentina border so the highest peak in the andes is mount aconcagua is the answer dash of the equatorial regions are called the lungs of the world so the answer is the selvas fifth one dash is also known as the coffee pot of the world so edakum coffee pot solrom brazil minas gera and sao paula area moving on to match the following mount mckinley grand canyon ebony four o'clock rains ria so the answer is mount kinley 6194 meters grand canyon the colorado river ebony tropical forest four o'clock rains the equatorial regions ria the flightless birds okay fine children okay moving on to give reasons first one the eastern coast of north america particularly usa enjoys mild climate because the south is usually warm all the year round and the region around the mouth of the mississippi missouri and the gulf coast of summer rain from the northeast trades it blow on shore in summer the warm moist south wester lies not only bring rainfall but also keep the coast warm okay second one united states of america is known as melting pot so why is united states of america known as melting pot the reason is because various faiths have been a major influence of culture in the usa hundreds of different cultures meet blend and creating a new culture so nariya cultures vaanga vandanaala or melting pot third question though quito and amazon basins are in the same latitude quito enjoys eternal spring whereas amazon basin is hot actually idu rendu place me equatorial region la dhan irukudhu ana onnu vandha nalla eternal spring nalla vasantha kalama irukudhu innonnu eppa paathalum heat a irukudhu why because the equator passes through amazon the quito has a pleasant throughout the year eternal spring vasantha kalam as its high altitude 9350 feet above the sea level idu ena rendume equatorial ana onnu vandha 9350 feet above the sea level irukkanal adu nalla cooling a irukku fine oru kidathatta adu oru 
ஹில் ஸ்டேஷன் அட்டும் இருக்குது ஃபோர்த் கொஸ்டின் பெரு இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த வேர்ல்ட்ஸ் லார்ஜஸ்ட் ப்ரொடியூசர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ட்ராபிக்கல் ஃபிஷ் பிகாஸ் த கூல் ஹும்பல்ட்ஸ் கரண்ட் ஹெல்ப்ஸ் இன் பிரிங் பிளாங்டான் த மெயின் ஃபுட் ஃபார் ஃபிஷஸ் ஓவர் த்ரீ தௌசண்ட் கிலோமீட்டர் ஆஃப் பெருஸ் கோஸ்டல் பெல்ஸ் என்ஜாய் டீப் சீ ஃபிஷிங் மோர் தென் ஃபிஃப்டி ஸ்பீஷஸ் ஆர் காட் இன் பெருவியன் வாட்டர்ஸ் தேர் ஆர் ஓவர் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபிஷிங் போட்ஸ் ஆன் பெருவியன் கோஸ்ட் இங்கே நிறைய ஃபிஷ் இருக்கனால அங்கே நல்ல ஃபிஷ் இருக்குது லார்ஜஸ்ட் ப்ரொடியூசர்ஸ் ஓகே மூவிங் ஆன் டு டிஸ்டிங்விஷ் பிட்வீன் டிஸ்டிங்விஷ் பிட்வீன் த ராக்கி மவுண்டன்ஸ் அண்ட் த அப்பால்ச்சியன் மவுண்டன் ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட்டு ராக்கி மவுண்டன்ஸ் திஸ் யூ கேன் டூ எஸ் அ டேபிளர் காலம் லாங் ரேஞ்சஸ் ஆஃப் யங் ஃபோல்டட் மவுண்டன்ஸ் ராக்கி மவுண்டனுக்கு அப்பால்ச்சியன் மவுண்டனுக்கு டூ நாட் form a continuous chain that is old fold mountain second point there are high plateaus narrow valleys and broad interior basin whereas for appalachian mountain few peaks more than 1800 meter third point it extends for about 4800 km the width varies from 110 to 480 km idu are rocky mountain and for appalachian mountain it is low and wide fourth point for rocky mountain it is mexican colorado and the colombian plateaus are in the rocky but whereas for the appalachian mountain greenland labrador plateaus are in the appalachian fifth point in the rocky mountain active volcanoes are here this is subject to earthquakes but in appalachian mountain this is rich in mineral resource fine children okay second question the prairies and the pampas grassland this also you can do it as a tabular column the prairies first point winter is very cold summer is hot rainfall is moderate winter bayangar cold summer hot rainfall moderate the pampas pathinga naka summer is quite warm winter is cold rainfall is moderate second point the regions are central usa and central canada in pampas the regions are north east part of argentina uruguay and southern most brazil third one flora here grasses and for pampas short grass fourth point fauna coyote gopas rabbits prairie dogs and bison here fauna if you see rhea pampas deer jaguar guanaco camel mule and stag see these are the animals found there okay third question tundra and taiga tabular column will see tundra winter is long and severely cold summer is short and cool rainfall is scanty in tundra if you see taiga winter is very cold summer is warm and short heavy snowfall in winter and the second point if you see the regions are northern coast of canada and northern islands and in taiga the regions are alaska and canada south central alaska and north eastern canada third point if you see the flora mosses lichens and dwarf willows and if you see here flora means pine fir cedar and spruce and if you see the animals fauna arctic fox reindeer musk ox polar bear wolverine sabel and blue fox and if we see the fauna here beaver fox sable ermine shrunk caribon moose elk black and grizzly bears fine children now moving on to sixth roman number put tick for the right option assertion and reason cotton grows well in southern and western states of north america reason warm summer with frequent rainfall and fertile soil which provide favorable condition your options are 
both assertion and reason is correct assertion is correct and reason is wrong assertion is wrong and reason is correct both assertion and reason is wrong so the answer is a both assertion and reason is correct second one assertion is industries in the south america has developed rapidly the continent lacks infrastructure especially transport need for industrialization and options are both assertion and reason are correct assertion is correct and reason is wrong assertion is wrong and reason is correct both assertion and reason are wrong and the answer is c assertion is wrong and reason is correct okay children i hope you understood and keep listening and read the book you will understand better we will do the remaining roman number 7 to the end in the next episode thank you